Hello guys, welcome to today's video by Trust Stanley. And on today's video, guys, we are going to be going through the Facebook um Facebook page insight. Actually, the new Facebook page insight. So if you want to check and see how your Facebook page is doing, this is just all you need to do. Um, we are going to be making use of the Facebook page layout, the new Facebook page layout. So we are going to be making use of this option that says switch profile. So I'm going to go right here and then select TS Tech Talk. This is actually the TS Tech Talk page. So um, once you switch the profile, it displays this area. And then the first place we need to go to is actually where it says personal profile. So go ahead and click on the personal profile. There's a lot of things I want to explain to you guys. So when you open the personal profile, it actually shows the overview as the first, um, as the first page or the first thing you'll see and under this overview you actually see how many followers you are having and how um your audience engagement are going and how it's reaching people now um i'm going to explain each and every one of these but first you notice it says um page overview which is actually what is currently selected you notice it's on blue anything that is on blue is currently selected so the first thing that is selected is overview and then um under this overview page which is actually our page title you notice our followers within that particular, um, our total followers is actually um, 13,218, right? And then under this area is displaying information of 28 days. Mind you, this is not for 28 days. This is actually the total follower of my page. I know that because I, I know how many followers I had before now. So this is actually information of 28 days and is actually explaining all of these guys here. So um, the first one right here that says um, post reach is actually the people that saw your post. You know that whenever your post is going, it doesn't go only to the people that is actually following you. You notice my followers are just 13K. So it's supposed to be saying 13K, but funny enough, your post doesn't display only to the people that are following you. It displays to the people that are following you and it displays to their friends of friends. And also when they like or comment on your post, it also displays to their friend that um, their friend commented on TS Tech Talk's post. So that is how it goes. And then some other people which are actually not um, following you will be able to see that particular post. And then if they are interested, then they can also like or comment on it. And then this engagement right here, this engagement that gives me 6k actually what this means is actually um engagement actually means when people like or comment on that particular video whether they are liking or hurting or or um reacting to the post in any other way or even laughing it actually means engagement watching um liking and uh, and maybe commenting or probably sharing it is actually engagement the way they are engaging on that particular post and then finally how many page um likes i got now mind you likes is different from followers so likes is actually the people that are liking my page not the people that are following my page the people that are liking my page within 28 days is actually um 37 so within a month i get 37 likes on my page currently this is the start of my page right now and then under this area you can see even more thing where it says um post and you notice it says um i can also get more people to watch my video by creating ads and when we scroll down even further you notice there is even a guide on how to make use of the new facebook page and you notice there is even more information right there that says um easily switch between your page and profile so which is actually what i'm currently doing and that is exactly how i've been using it but if you guys are curious or maybe you don't know how to do that, just click on this learn more and it's going to display this stuff and with more information saying switch between your page and profile. You are using um you are using Facebook as TS Tech Talk. Choose your page from the menu to switch it and get everything done. Um you can also switch back into your profile. So I'm going to click on done because um if not, if you click here, it won't be active. So first you need to click on done and then you click here and you're able to switch but i'm not doing that so i'm going to click on this area again and then under this area you notice it says um view news feds now the news fed is actually a home page that displays before 
we click on this area and then there is even more information right on this other area that says um to grow your audience finish setting up your page and there are two different things that i need to complete you notice it says this one is already completed this is already completed and this is also already completed and whatever we need to complete we can also click on this area to add all of this information but all this information that is actually remaining i do not want to add them because most of them are irrelevant to my page and then you can notice there are even more information right here it says frequent ask question now all of this is actually what people are asking and facebook always answers them right here so all you need to do is a click on any of them and you'll be answered and if you actually want to visit the help center just click on this link and it will navigate you to the health center but that is not what i want to show you guys today we are looking at the insights so let's continue over our insight and then after the overview look at the left hand area after the overview the next thing right here is home and then there is um your page there is post audience all of these things some of them are displaying here already but since we are talking about insights today let's go over to the insight and the first one we'll be clicking on is the home page so let's click on the home and then wait for it to look open it's going to take a while to open and it's going to open as soon as it clicks now you notice this is a bit um similar to what we saw previously under the overview so um you notice right here it says um 28 days right and then this is the total followers just like the previous area and then it says um post reach this is the post reach um 21k and post engagement this is it and then new page like this is it and then net follower now the net follower is actually the amount of people that is actually following you which is different from your page new follower is actually the followers you are getting and then the page like is actually the people that are liking your page sometimes it displays the likes sometimes it displays the followers but whichever one you choose if you are choosing following um you will only get to see my post and my content and all of those stuff but um you are uh, you are also going to see everything but if you are making use of the um like if you choose like automatically you are already following the page but the funny thing is i also find it hard understanding the difference between like and follow guys um i actually think i'm going to make um and i'm going to make a research on this and probably explain that for you guys because um i have never read the difference or try to understand the difference between like and follow but for some reason i think this is actually need to know and then um you know since we have more followers than our like now the reason is because the followers of um, the follower always display more than the like um, like if somebody tries to open my facebook page as a new user they will always see followers and then sometimes the like is on top and then the follower is below but on this latest facebook page the redesign you will always see followers first before you see like so the like is very difficult to see so a lot of people will be clicking on followers more than the like so if you are getting more followers than your like guys do not panic it's actually very normal and i'm already used to that so and then the next one is actually your most recent content which is your post the post you actually made recently this is the advert i did recently and this is my recent post and if you click on any of them it's going to display all of those recent posts and then when you scroll down even more you are going to see even more things but i think this audience i do not need to click on it because it's already on my left hand area so the next place you need to check on is your page now your page actually displays everything about your page just um including um including your overview the interaction and the way people are actually checking your page now let me explain this even further i already explained this to you guys already um the way people are discovering your video and then the next one is interaction now under this interaction under this interaction the first one that displays is the reaction the reaction actually means the people that are liking your post the people that are hurting your post and all of those things and then the comments you already know what comments means whenever somebody comments on your video and then this share is actually people sharing your content and all of those stuff and then photo view is actually the people that are clicking on your photo now if you are the type of person that posts a lot of photos for people to see um you are going to be getting a lot of this and then the link click is actually the amount of people that are clicking on the link that is being added to my posts so i have a lot of link that will be added to my post because i also post on my blog so that is what this area does 
And then the next section is actually the post area. Now this will be able to display your post and still tell you how your post is going. Now this is my post for the last 90 days. If you want to increase this even further, just go ahead and click on the last 90 days and you can select any of these. And if for some reason you want to extend the date even further, just go ahead and click on this date and you can notice it says um, post reach and engagement. That is if you want to sort them by in order. So let's say we probably use um, post reach. Now it's going to automatically display the most post reach on top and then it's going to display in an ascending order. So um, my internet, just, my device just re restart. So this is actually how it goes guys. And then when you come to your audience area, it actually going to display how your audience are. For instance, so for the audience section, this is how my um, audience is doing. Now from the age, um, age and gender, you can notice I have men and women and from 18 to 24 are actually the highest and then 25 to 34 and then I think the lowest is actually 55 to 60, 64 uh, on both age. So for some reason, um, the men, the male are always relating until um, I think right about 65 plus the female is actually on top. That's probably because they have more female, female live longer than male which is actually probably the reason why this is higher. So um, under this area of our location section, you notice the highest um, view is actually from Lagos, Nigeria, and it has 332 views. Now, the reason why I'm getting all of this view is probably because I myself is in Nigeria and I stay in Lagos because you notice apart from this Lagos, there is no other location in Nigeria being displayed right here. So which means I am the one that is viewing all these things because I will always open my Facebook page every day. And then if you click on the country section, you notice Philippine is on top and Nigeria is way below, which is me. I think um, I have more people in Philippine viewing the video more than me. So um, viewing my Facebook page more than me. So um, Philippine is actually the first on country and then United States is actually the second before Nigeria and then Pakistan and India. And then you can even see more information about your audience when you click on see more. The same thing with other ones too, but the reason why I didn't click on them is probably because I, I didn't think there was any need for me to do that in order for me not to make the video so long. So guys, this is all I want to show you guys on the insight area. And this is the insight of your dashboard because um, the other ones I have, I do not want to go through them because um, they are all very simple and I don't use um, the events frequently. I also do not use collaboration and this I do not want to show you guys for now. And the top fans also, I do not have much thing to display on the top fans area. And then the linked account also displays right there, messaging. And I do not know the reason why they added all this stuff in this uh, professional dashboard area. But for some reason, guys, I'm going to show you guys all this stuff later on, on later video. But today's video is all about insight, which is only about this section right there. And which is what I have covered so far. So guys, I hope this video is helpful. If it is, please smash like and subscribe to the channel for more video. And I will see you guys on my next video. Please stay safe and peace.